Hi, I'm Rosanna from Wara Crochet and this month my free crochet pattern is going to be a crochet garlic. Over the last few days I've released a whole collection of crochet roof vegetables and I'll leave a link down below where you can access all of those patterns. Don't forget as usual there is a full written photo tutorial on my blog and again there's a link down below and from there you can access all my other crochet patterns and crochet knowledge. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as every month I give away free crochet pattern plus other free crochet knowledge. So let's get started. To make your crochet garlic you're going to need some stuffing for inside, some cream yarn, I'm using fingering weight yarn which I've doubled because I don't have any thick of yarn, so cream, some green and a little bit of brown. To make your root take your brown yarn and simply wrap it around your fingers like this about five times and then tie the top into a knot and once you've finished you'll have your root. Okay now we're going to grab our brown yarn to start the bottom of our garlic here. For row one we're going to start with a magic circle so tail in front, yarn over, make a cross and pick up your yarn. Remove your fingers and there's my magic circle. Okay I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to put six single crochet into my first row. So I've put my six single crochet, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove my hook gently and I'm going to insert the centre of my root into the centre of the magic circle as I gently close it shut. So the reason we have the knot is to secure it to not fall through our magic circle. So just pull it all the way down nice and tight. So now my root is connected, I'm going to continue in the spiral, I'm going to add two single crochet into each stitch. So at the end of row two, you will have 12 single crochet. There's two into my first stitch. and two into the second. Okay now I've finished round two and I've got my 12 single crochet. Mm -hmm. I'm simply going to slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off and weave in my ends because now we're going to switch to the cream yarn. Okay to start row three I've already attached my cream yarn so what I'm going to do is I'm going to single crochet in the first stitch and I'm going to do a single crochet increase in the neck. So two single crochet into the same stitch. There we go. Right, and our pattern for row three is going to be single crochet, single crochet increase. And repeat that round until you get to the beginning. And at the end of the row, we will have 18 single crochets. So here I am at the end of row three and now we're going to continue in the spiral and do row four. So for our next row we're going to do single crochet in the first stitch and a single crochet increase in the next so that's two in the same stitch. Followed by a single crochet. So our pattern for this row is single crochet, single crochet increase, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet increase, single crochet. And once you finish this round we're going to end with 24 single crochets. Okay here is the end of row 4, now for row 5 our pattern is going to be 3 single crochets, single crochet increase. So here we go single crochet, single crochet, 
and once more. And then in the fourth stitch, we're going to do an increase. So continue this pattern, three single crochets and a single crochet increase. And at the end of this row, we will have 30 single crochets. I'm at the end of row five, and now we're on to our final increase round. So for our final increase round, we're going to do two single crochet. That's my first, second, and then we're going to do a single crochet increase. That's two in the same stitch, followed by two single crochet. So our pattern is two single crochet, then a single crochet increase, two single crochet. And at the end of this row, we will finish with 36 single crochet. So we've reached the end of row six, and that's the end of our increases. Now, for the next five rows, you're going to single crochet into every single stitch. So to help you, I'd add a stitch marker so you know the beginning of each row. So for that's 36 stitches for the next five rows and I'll meet you at row 12. Here I am after my five rows and now we're going to start our decrease row for the top of our garlic. Our pattern is going to be two single crochet followed by a single crochet decrease. Now all the decreases are only going to be done in the front loops. So I insert my hook just into the front loop. I'm not going through both pick up my yarn and I'll insert into the front loop of my next stitch. There we go. So you can see the other side of the loop is just behind here. Pick up my yarn and yarn over. And there is my decrease. So we've got two single crochet, single crochet decrease, two single crochet. So there's our pattern. So I'll do once more with you, two single crochet, single crochet decrease just in the front loops. There we go. Yarn over to close those two loops, two single crochet. So I'm going to follow that pattern all the way round. So it's two single crochet, single crochet, decrease, two single crochet. And at the end of this row, you will end with 30 single crochet. <coughs> I finished row 12, now I'm going to do row 13. So our pattern is three single crochet. One, two, three, followed by a decrease. So yarn through, front loop only, and close. So our pattern for this row is three single crochet, single crochet decrease. And at the end of this row, we'll end with 24 single crochet. Here I am at the end of row 13. As you can see, our garlic now is starting to create the bulb shape. Okay, our next row, we're going to do decrease again. So it's going to be single crochet, followed by single crochet decrease and then a single crochet. So our pattern for this row is single crochet, single crochet decrease, single crochet. I'm going to repeat that all the way around and at the end of this row we will end with 18 stitches. For row 15, this is our final row before we add the stuffing, our pattern is going to be single crochet. single crochet decrease. Always only through the front loops. The smaller this gets, I find the harder it gets. Okay, so our pattern, single crochet, single crochet decrease. And repeat that all the way around. And at the end of this row, we will have 12 single crochet and get your stuffing ready. Okay, here I am at the end of row 15, and now I'm going to fill 
my crochet garlic with as much stuffing as it will possibly take because I want my garlic to keep its form and shape now I need to close this hole so we're going to continue with another decrease row okay for this row we're going to do single crochet single crochet decrease again always only through the front loops so there's one and again single crochet single crochet decrease single crochet the end of that we have eight single crochet and now for the final two rows I'm just going to do a single crochet in each stitch so that's two rows of eight single crochet and at the end leave a long tail of 50 centimeters here's my cro crochet bulb at the end after doing our final two rows and I've left my tail with a 50 centimeters so what I'm going to do now is attach tapestry needle here and we're going to add the line segments okay so I've got my tapestry needle connected so the first thing I'm going to do is just simply weave my needle in and out until I get down to the previous um, decrease row so that's three rows down now pull all the way through so now that's down to just before the opening of the bulb I'm going to bring my needle all the way down to the bottom and insert just before we change colors and when we and I insert I'm going to bring it back up a few stitches to the left just push that through and there it comes now this can be a little bit tricky so just take your time or your thread can get knotted okay so there I am now I'm just gonna pull slightly there we go and I'll repeat the process just going down into the bottom and straight back to the top a few stitches along you have to squeeze the bulb as you do this okay and I'm gonna pull tightly again and I'll just continue that around until I get about six segments you can do more if you like and here's my crochet bulb finished all we need to do now is add the foliage so let's grab our green yarn and grab your three millimeter hook to start I'm going to chain four no I'm going to chain six sorry so one two three four five six and I'm going to single crochet in the second from the hook so there's one and I'm going to continue down with a single crochet in each stitch so it'll be five single crochet in total so there's my third fourth and fifth and that's our first section of our leaf now the next one is chain 10 and again single crochet from the second from the hook and continue down and in total we will have nine single crochet here's my first
Now we've got two leaves done. Now for our final one, we're going to chain eight. And again, single crochet in the second from the hook and one in each stitch. So in total, we will have seven for this row. Okay, once we've finished our three leaves, we'll have a shape like this. Now, we're just going to fold this round like this and use the tail and we're going to fasten this off and create a little knot at the bottom. Okay, so I've just secured my foliage just with a knot at the bottom. What you're going to do simply is insert it into the center. So I find the best way is to put your needle all the way through, go directly down to the bottom and I just pull gently. As you pull, the foliage automatically goes into the center of the garlic. So you could sew back up and fasten off just by the sides. So I just put a little stitch right next to you so you do not see the green. And pull that, push that all the way up again. This can be quite tricky to do. Okay, as I pulled up and I put the stitch right into the next um, knot, you can't see any of the green now from the bottom. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just weave in and out from the inside, it's quite difficult to see, from the inside and attach the leaves to secure it in place. And once you're finished, your garlic will look like this. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I am sorry for the delay. The weather's not been great here in Brazil, but don't forget there is a full written photo tutorial on my blog and the link is down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.